Welcome or welcome back. Hey guys. Today we're going to discuss that crazy ass video that's on TikTok and going around of uh, what happened at that Florida mall with the huge police response and whatever fucked up thing that they caught on camera. I don't even know what we're going to call this video, but I don't know that's what we're talking think. about. So what did you think of Skinwalker Ranch? There's weird shit in the sky that should not be there and there's weird creatures that are in the woods and... I guess the, the heaviness of the way that everything shifted. Paranormal creatures, pale skin, and black eyes. Out of nowhere, there was a horrible, loud howl slash. Yeah, a couple weeks oh, was it a week ago? A couple weeks ago? Yeah, I not sent. That long ago, very recent. I sent Jolene a short, you know, scrolling on TikTok, just, you know, doing my thing. And I came across that, and just the size of the police response and what was caught brought me back to Jolene and I talking about Skinwalker Ranch. And there's an interview with a member of the military that was contracted to work on Skinwalker Ranch when it was owned by Bigelow. What he described came coming out of a rip in time space was what was being, you know, what was recorded. So that tripped me out a little bit, so of course I had to share with my partner here. Tripped her out a little bit, so we kind of want to know what you guys think about this. Like, do you think it's just bullshit, or, um, you know, a really good Photoshop? Or do you really think that we caught some 11-foot cryptid? We're here! <laughs> I don't think it's an alien. I don't think it's an alien. I think it's more of a, a supernatural being, like... People have been calling them the Nephilim? Fallen angels and aliens. That's what I've heard. I don't think I've heard anything different other than that. I've seen video. I If I can find the couple little clips that I'm talking about, I will definitely be putting them in this video. Uh, we're, it's not good quality, though. No, but I've also seen, like, there's another um, TikToker. He's... Uh graffiti artist and he was in the mall when it happened and he like describes what he's seen and the police narrative on this is there was some kids uh throwing or lighting off firecrackers in the mall and they're responding to that but did you see the police response to that yeah police don't be showing up like that for some damn fireworks i'm sorry that was like I I've seen terrorist threats have less fucking exactly. police response than that. That was like around the block. So many freaking police cars. Shit, the last school shooting didn't get that much fucking police I response. Know. Like, and then they try to say it's just that. And we're just supposed to be like, mm, okay. Okay, George. So, no. <laughs> from the TikToker that I watched that supposedly was in it, he said there there was there was four teenagers and they did have backpacks, but they pulled out of their backpack what looked like a device. Like they activated some type of device that was look homemade. And like he said that the lights like blinker or it, like blinked, but then it like there was like like a distortion. Like, you could see the kids, but, like, they were, it was, they were very distorted. And then this thing that ended up being caught on camera in front of the mall crawled out of it. And then in that cut to, like, vid like vintage, a very distorted video image of people running away from something that was very distorted at the end of the mall. But you can't, like, can't really tell what's what and what's going on. And the guy that's posting it um i'm not sure how credible he is like i i don't know if you know what his habits are or anything like that so you know it's on the internet take it with a grain of salt but from what he says and what's captured i'll buy it for a dollar yeah it um i seen the the part the, the words the part where there's some a being at like down towards the end but it is very blurry you can't tell but it does look tall also somebody pointed out on one of the other videos that because you know these videos are everywhere right now um a, a spot on the side it's really hard to see if i can 
I will try to find that exact video that they were talking about and what spot and I will try to like zoom into it if possible if I can't I'm sorry um where they said it looked like a portal supposedly that's what those boys opened up was some sort of portal and this thing came out of it but then the person also said that could be an AI glitch that they think it's an AI glitch which that could be as well I don't know but I did it's hard to see but once you notice it it's it does it does look similar to a portal <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I hope I can find the, the clip because that had me what? very intrigued it was that when I first seen that initial TikTok which showed the thing and all the police cars around it and stuff like that. Another thing that I watched was that um, they said that there was gunfire in there. What the gunfire was, was police and security or whatever authority shooting at this thing and it was doing nothing to it. Oh, I didn't hear that one. So that was also reported, like I said, it, it took me right back to our Skinwalker Ranch video where that military member that was hired for, for, or through Bigelow to help with the researching of the ranch. That's exactly what he described. The, the way that the creature or thing, anomaly, whatever the fuck you want to call it, looks oh. is... is Go ahead, sorry. It is his um, exact description of what he's seen crawl out. And he said they opened fire on that thing. And it did nothing to it. For the only thing they could do was retreat. What the hell them boys let out? Okay, I just remembered something that I seen literally just either yesterday or the other day. Um, this on TikTok, of course. But also, I was watching a reaction video, and they had, um, were reacting to their TikTok. And they, this woman said, if you put in the coordinates to the mall, that, the mall that they were at, into Google backwards, it takes you to Antarctica. Which they say there's that secret, you know, shit going on in Antarctica underground and stuff like that. And it is, it's true. The dude that was reacting to it did it on the video, put those coordinates in backwards, and that's exactly where it takes you. It's like they so, just got, these beings just got the wrong, the coordinates backwards and ended up in the fucking mall. <laughs> instead of but what would the boys see this i don't understand what the boys have anything if that's true what would the boys interaction with it have done me or what would them trying to do because the description of the boys is that they're nerdy so like um i don't even exactly know what a nerd looks like nowadays because i am one but <laughs> um what did they do? I mean, were they performing some experiment and their experiment, like, caused some aliens to go off course? Fuck, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about none of it. And then another TikToker, of course, this could be totally BS, but, you know, supposedly their dad was, like, there, like a cop or something like that. And he asked about it, and he was like, I can't talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Every time he asked him, he said, I'm not allowed to talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about that. Now, that could have been bullshit, but... If he really wasn't right, allowed so, to talk about it, then if it was he's probably, kids with fireworks, you should be able to talk about that. I don't know. My dad was in the military for many years, and there's a lot of shit that when I ask him, I just get a look. And I, I know what that means, is I can't talk about that. Don't fucking ask me about it, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, I don't know. I think honestly think that with that whole CERN shit that we're doing, and was it Switzerland? That there's a whole lot of shit that's been gotten super fucking freaky since we started playing with black holes. I think that we're messing with science that we don't quite understand. I didn't realize and it, people were messing with black holes. Yeah, that like they're trying like a to... Good idea. It's not. It's really huh. fucking not. Like, ending existence doesn't sound like a good plan, <laughs> but that's not what they're... Oops, wrong button. <laughs> it's not what they're trying to do. Or I, I, I don't really even know what they're trying to do. There's something like black hole study. There's like a whole bunch of physics that they are 
experimenting on with this ginormous energy. I mean, it's so large it goes under a couple countries. <laughs> it's, this isn't... I, um, that's a topic that we could do one day is that because that people also attribute to the Mandela effects to that. That somehow they think that we have collided atoms and shifted ourselves into another reality, like just slightly different than ours. Oh, well, that's too trippy for my brain. My brain. See, I can't even speak. Don't touch the words right out my head. It, th there's a whole lot about that. that <laughs> I, and I think that possibly that shit has something to do with it, that we're... We don't understand a lot of the things that we build machines to understand. And it goes back to the, um, we haven't talked about the alien stuff yet, but, um, I've done a lot of research into the whole Bob Lazar thing. It goes kind of back to that as well, that, um, when they don't want you to know something or don't want you to talk about it, they're going to make damn sure that you don't. And that's somebody that... Those alphabet people have been on his ass for like many years so just because he wanted to take his friends to see some cool shit, pretty much. But, um, yeah, there's, like, everything that Skinwalker, like, they keep saying they're, like, the anomalies they're finding in Skinwalker Ranch and, like, they can't explain none of this and the stories that they get about beings just appearing or it looks like there's rips in time opening or rips in space opening and things coming out of it that and the whole like was with the Bob Lazar thing the reverse engineering of alien um, technology it, if you put all of the pieces together it kind of looks like like the crazy people aren't so fucking crazy you know yeah I lean towards that that the crazy people are not that crazy like I said, it's not one of those things together that convinces me that there's some shit going on that one, we don't understand, and two, probably shouldn't be fucking with. There's a whole bunch of shit going on. It's, it's a, you, if you step back, and you know, you and I do a lot of research on a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> but, if you like step back and look at it and see how it all like kind of does fit together, and like maybe that the the cons conspiracy theorists really aren't conspiracy theorists that they're just trying to tell us like hey um shit's fucking up we're doing stuff we shouldn't be doing you guys tell us what what you think or what you think about CERN what you guys think about um the Mandela effect uh what, what do you guys think about that crazy anomaly that happened in a Florida mall that had more police response than like I said the last school shooting um any of this shit making sense to anybody? Oh, I did hear that it was more than, just in case somebody comes at us in the comments, uh, it was more than supposedly uh, four or whatever teenagers. Like, it was, like, supposedly 30 of them or so. I don't know. I heard that as well. So, But still, for people to have that many, it still seems a little bit off. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, bye. Bye.